What's up everyone? I thought it would be really cool to film a pre-production of a cover. I'm going to do Red Sun. I'm going to do it up an octave. It's going to be aggro. It's going to be crazy. I don't even know if I can sing it. The original Red Sun is way too low for me to sing, but I was able to pull it off. But this one, like the highest parts of the song, is going to be really tough. It's going to be a challenge. So I have the session open. I just in imported the instrumentals. I call it Red Sun Turbo Edition. I'm going to in, uh, bring in the tracks from the original cover and I'm just going to do everything up an octave and then I might have to massage things. Probably the harmonies will probably be, I don't know. I don't know. I've, I'm just going to do the lead line up an octave and see if I can do it. And then the rest I will just kind of play with. So I'm going to import the session data from that one. Now look at your covers. Red sun. No, not the hot one blowing. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Let's see here. Let's take all these bad boys. I should be able to bust this out in like two hours or an hour. I'm going to link to source media. Wait. track okay let's go let's go let's do that so i'm importing the audio tracks the vocals from the original cover that i did and put out here we go and so here's the lead line i'm not going to play because i don't really have the route the audio routing set up right now but i'm going to just dig into it now so i'll be back i will you know share some of the updates Okay, I'm ready to sing. I have the lead line here. Just to reference, I'm gonna, I'm all warmed up. I'm gonna get my mic all set it, situated. So I have my Shure SM7B. This is my rock, my go-to rock mic. Here's another good mic that I use, SM58. These are cheap mics. Well, the SM7B is 400, but this is like a hundred dollar mic. If you're just starting out and you want a great mic, this is the good. This is the this is the one to get because you don't want to get like a large diaphragm condenser if you're if you're singing in your bedroom unless your room is like really well treated or super messy. Um, it's only if you pick up like a condenser mic that's large diaphragm, <clears throat> you're only going to pick up your room, the 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 terribleness of your room because it's very sensitive. This you have to get right up on it, use some EQ to roll off it, roll off any booms or whatever and you're good to go. It's not going to pick up your room. When I was starting starting out, I was like, oh, I got to get a, a condenser mic, a sweet condenser. You know, I spent like way too much money. I don't even I don't even use that condenser anymore unless I'm in a room that's amazing because all I get is shit sound out of it. Red sun, red sun over paradise. There we go. All right, so the first line is sounding pretty cool. Let's let me see if I can just like bust it through the uh, headphones. Pretty cool. I think it's gonna work. It's sounding really awesome, so I'm liking this. I'm gonna keep going. We're making some good progress here. We're in the middle area, and it is the. Only love is with us now. Should be a really cool part. I'm gonna turn. Only love is with us now. Something warm and pure. Find the peace within ourselves. No need for a cure. When the wind is slow and the fire's hot, <laughs> the world show ways to see what rots. Okay. Whew. That is gonna be tough. But I think I can do it twice. I'm going to go record it. Wow, this is kicking my butt. This is harder than I thought, but I'm halfway through it. And I think I can just bust this out in the next five, ten minutes. So. Okay, so I finished the end, the big high part. And so what I do in normal songs is I'll take a listen to it. And a lot of times I'll go back to the first verse and sort of have a different perspective of where I took it, the heights. So I'm finding that the first verse, when I say red sun, it is a bit too aggro. 
I'm going to try to let it build. So it's red sun and then red sun at the end of that first one. So it's going to be really cool. So let me just go do that. All right. So we're about 25, 30 minutes into this thing. We're almost done with the lead lines. All everything, almost everything is doubled. I just have like one more to do. And then I'm going to listen to it, blend it in the mix a little bit and see where I can throw in some harmonies or change it up in any way, see if it affects things. Maybe I'll throw on a fry cream somewhere or like some <laughs> something like that. I don't know. When the air goes and when the air when the air blows through with the brisk attack, the reptile tail ripped from its back. When the sun sets. So I'll let you hear a little bit of it. Right now, things are a little bit kind of out of control. I don't have a, f uh, a few notes are out of tune. Some of these things aren't lined up, but I haven't edited anything yet. Shouldn't take long though, but here's a quick little peek. That's gonna be really cool. I'm liking the way this is turning out. So I'm gonna just um, do a listen through to make sure everything sounds cool. If there's anything like that's terrible, I'm going to redo. All right, so I have something I really like. I did a big, long, extended Richard and then Richard. Excuse me, <laughs> I did it too many times. Richard, like a big, long fry scream. That was really bad, but I got one that was a couple that were really good. And I'm just gonna mix it down. I'm happy with it and we did it in 40 40 minutes pleased with that so i'm going to mix it up and uh be right back all right so i think it's as good as it's going to get i'm not really too worried about perfection i'm not going to tune my vocals there's out of two notes which is okay when you're recording at home you shouldn't even worry about out of two notes just put your heart into it i mean listen to red hot chili peppers anthony kiedis is like way out of tune all the time but He's got a good character. He's like selling it. So anyway, I'm going to mix it. The lead vocals are, I want to really compress them, make them so they're front and center in the mix. I want to remove the harshness, smooth them out, make them big. That's it. The rest, I'm just going to do set and forget plug-in settings. That's it. Red sun. Red sun over paradise. Red sun. Red sun over I'm just gonna throw some compressors, compressors on there. Not nothing too big. Red sun over okay, that's good. Uh, after that, I'm just going to do a multi-brand compressor to really step on the mids, even things out, lower harshness. Multi-brand, multi-band dynamics. You know what? Actually, I'm going to try a new thing. I'm going to try a new plugin. It's not a new plugin, but I normally reach for this multiband, but I think I'm just going to use Slate OTT because I'm feeling really super lazy. And that Slate OTT, the MOTT is so good. It sounds great. It makes It's like instant good. So let me just pull vocals up. Vocal, I'll just call it up front. Red sun. That's sick. Red sun. Without advertise red sun red sun over paradise. Way better, way better. So now I'm gonna do the Howard Benson plugin. And since I'm over processing this, I'm not gonna do too much on the processing on this. I'm gonna just do light compression. Red sun Red Sun over paradise. Red sun. And since that it's uh, it's got really aggro vocals, I'm gonna leave the, the it's kind of swimming in reverb. 
I'm fine with that. It pushes it back in the mix a little bit. And if it feels too back, too far back, I will reduce the reverb. Reverb is a nice thing to use, but you got to know how to use it right. So to add reverb is to make the to make whatever you're putting reverb on makes it back in the mix. So just aware, just be aware of that's what you're doing. That's what I'm doing. I like the way this is sounding. That sounded kind of like ass. What's going on here? Oh, is it just... Oh, there's just a little bit of discrepancy here. It's not too bad. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I think that's a. I, I think I'm hearing that. I don't think anyone's hearing that. Um, what's going on here? I'm going to take the. Um, <coughs> excuse me. All right. I was going to take the um, re reverb and delay off of this one, but it's already gone because it was set up. I just want to make sure the the inputs are right. I'm going to take take off the the warmth. Since the vocals are really kind of distorted, I really dialed back the the distortion. On oh, the original was low. You're using a lot of distortion just because you want to make it more exciting because it's like ooh, ooh, ooh you know. But this one, it's got the built-in distortion. I'm racking my voice up on this. Now the Okay, I'm really happy with it, and I don't want to really like spoil it all by playing it all. I'm gonna mix a little bit more, then I'm gonna be done. So that's it for this. This is just kind of kind of how I did it. This took me less than an hour. Uh, I mean, normal. This is a short song, and I had the backings. If I had to do the backings, it'd probably take me one more hour, and if it was a little bit longer, maybe a half hour. But this is a this is a great song to just sort of slam dunk out. So, all right. Well, stay tuned for the real song. Bye-bye.